I want to talk about communications and I want you to realize that sometimes having a class online that you feel sometimes isolated but the truth is is that there are multiple strategies of connecting with me the instructor and your fellow students in this online biology course. So why communicate? Well, communication is important and critical to your success. And oftentimes, although there's things posted in Blackboard, you know, maybe they need a more detailed explanation, or maybe there's an issue or challenge that's arising. So to, to make sure that you're successful, you have to communicate with me and others. So keep in mind that you can always schedule a virtual office visit with me. Email me at nwisma at epcc.edu. When you email me, please don't be afraid to contact me. Um, I'm open to all questions, but I would like for you to be prepared. I want you to be very specific in what you want so I can address your issues properly. And lastly, I know that you'll have something to say. So uh, make sure that you're thoughtful when you communicate with me and with others. Oftentimes when we communicate, it's because we're very frustrated that we weren't able to do something on our own and so we have to reach out to someone so we get very frustrated. But I want you to remember, in spite of all of your frustrations, because I know what it's like, please remember to be respectful and thoughtful. And um, oftentimes I do realize that you're frustrated and, ang and anxious. So please be careful on what you say and the tone in which you say it, because that can make all the difference in the world. Now, what are the forms of communication? There's a lot of forms and ways that you can communicate online. One, one is through Blackboard course messages, emails. You can call me on my office phone. Uh, we can use Blackboard Collaborate. So you have multiple ways of contacting me and you have multiple ways of communicating with fellow students. Now, why would you want to communicate with me? So uh, maybe some of the reasons are for general course questions, absenteeism, some things happen in your family and you won't be able to do certain activities. You're having technical difficulties and they're not resolved and you need my help. There's an unexpected emergency in your family or an exam issue, assignment issue. You need clarification on an assignment or even a biological concept. You need support for whatever you're doing or you're unsure, maybe the grades, there's an issue with the grades and we need to discuss it, or you're trying to contact a fellow student. So why would you try to contact a fellow student? Well, maybe you're working on a group lab project. We have one. If you're uh, registered for the lab, you'll need to contact at least several other students to complete the project. Or maybe you want to form a study group. Or maybe they can help you with their assignments or technical issues. Or maybe it's just someone to talk to, like asking them what they think about something creating that sort of support group that makes you successful. Now, I have this situation and that's why I actually am producing this short little video is remember what Einstein said, the definition of insanity is repeating the same mistakes over and over again and expecting different results. So what does that mean and why am I stating it here? If you try to communicate with me one way, you don't see that I'm responding, stop. Don't use that strategy anymore. Try another one. You can use my phone. You can use messages, email. There's many ways of contacting me. So if one form isn't working well for you, try something else. Now, here's my contact information, but I want you to know that you can also find this contact information in two other places. One is in the syllabus and the other is in Blackboard under syllabus and course information. So at the top you see my email address which is nwisma 
at epcc.edu. My phone number is 831-5021. And if I'm at my computer, I'll be able to answer it. But if not, you can leave a message. We can schedule a meeting in Collaborator Zoom, and you can also message me. I am going to try to get back with you within 24 hours during the week. On, on weekends, I really can't promise you much, and I will do my best to, to give you a quick response time. Thank you so much, and let's communicate.